Is it that you want to speak? Hello. Um, I, um, I just um, w wondered what it was, the Stonehenge, why it was built and how it was built. Many questions, but simple answers. Uh -huh. It is in a direct alignment with Orion, the star system we come from. Oh, I see. It was built by moving stones of great magnitude into place to form an algorithm of eternity. Uh huh. They never disconnect from their message, and they are always about bringing energy to that place. It is a place where people can land and where they may leave. It is a portal. Uh-huh. And um, was it built by, so it was built not by Earth humans, right? It was built by aliens? It was indeed built by aliens. The humans around at that time worshipped us uh -huh. in the sense that they thought we were from the nether regions of their, of their world. They thought we were dark because we could not communicate properly with them, but we had greater powers than they had seen. How we did you look? to them in some ways and so they felt that we were negative beings but what yet we had to keep them safe and sometimes that was the only way to keep them safe was to be harsh to them and threaten mm -hmm. their lives to stay away uh-huh so how did you look How did we look? Well, we are bipedal. Mm -hmm. We are tall and thin. We have gray skin. At that time, and for all times, we were known as the grays. Oh, wow. But this was a different era, a different time. Mm -hmm. Early Asasani was part of who we were as well. Wow. The Asasani are greys, or started out as greys, uh -huh. and have evolved into a, an almost bodiless, species. Their bodies uh -huh. are useless. They do uh -huh. need Earth DNA to revitalize them. Uh-huh. But that is another situation. And who do you... Uh, who, we, uh, so what, 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 what civilization are you now? Are you still around? We have separated into uh -huh. different... Since then, we have separated into different categories, uh -huh. but I do not want to speak about that at this time. So there is no name for your civilization which you could give? I am from the Sasani. Oh. Or Chikani, if you prefer. I see, wow. Would you like to give your name? Not at this time. All right. Um, would you like to give a nickname so we can call for you again? Just call me friend. Okay. All right. Um, so... I am not really permitted to speak to you this way. That is okay. why I cannot tell you my real name. Sure. It's a common, common occurrence here. Anyway, um, so at the time... It was basically a portal, or was there another another function for the for the creation of 
Skull of course. It had multiple functions. It's also a compass. It's also, it also has properties of creation. It can be used as a teleporter, as a communication device, but also as a terraforming device if necessary. Was it used actually for that or, or it wasn't? I am not permitted to say. Oh, I see. Does it have a function now? Is it still functional? It is still functional, but it is not awake. All right. So is there a plan to reawaken it? If the time arises that it needs awakened, it will awaken. I see. Is there an underground part of it or is it all above the ground? There is an underground portion to it, yes. Uh-huh. So is it critical? I mean, how, how big it is? Is it as important as the over or is it just a small part? It is the control area. I see. Uh -huh. is, it, uh, is it under control of humans? No. Is it under they anybody's control? Know, they do not know how to function with that technology and they have not even found it all anyway. I see. Uh huh. And when did it happen? What, uh, what historical period was that when it was constructed? <laughs> Many thousands of years ago. Is it the time of Atlantis or before or after? It is, was actually slightly before Atlantis. Uh huh. Uh huh. But not much. Uh -huh. A few hundred years at best. So the Atlanteans were, um, were using it? They knew of it, but they didn't have any use for it. They had their own technologies that were advanced and did not need it to perform all the functions that were necessary for their society. They did know how to use it, but yet it was old and theirs their technology was newer. I see. And, um, and it was also was... made of stone, which was sort of unacceptable to them. Uh -huh. So what was the uh, political situation at, at, at Orion at the time of creation? Who, who were the major uh, civilizations at that time in Orion? Orion was at war at this time and uh -huh. needed some off-world bases. Uh -huh. This was one of those that was off of that area. As well as the Egyptians were also facing Orion, and mm -hmm. so is Machu Picchu facing Orion. Mm -hmm. So there were several different outposts at different times from the Orion area on your planet. So uh, apparently greys, tall greys were part of the Orion civilizations also. I think uh, maybe uh, the uh, tall whites, or how do you call it, the, um, their human looking Orions? Nordics yeah. maybe, yep. There are some Orions that do have a human look but they are no longer in the Orion area. They but have moved out. Yeah, they, are not in, they have moved to different places because their planet be, has become uninhabitable. Uh-huh. Or is I should there, say planets. They had more than one. So they are pure, and they are in different places in the universe at this time. Wow. And in this galaxy as well. Uh, they have I'm visited just... Earth many times and are part of Earth history as well. But they are reintroducing themselves to your planet within the last six to eight months. <laughs> nice timing. Wonderful. Welcome. Am I also a cure, right? I'm kind of connected to cure in a very personal way, right? The Cure are an interesting looking people. They look like humans, 
but they have smaller ears and they have a unibrow. Of the uh -huh. eyelashes or whatever you call these eyebrows are grown together. Now, mm -hmm. some of them separate them for cosmetic looks, but many of them just keep it. Um, so the personal question, am I connected to cure, right? All humans at some point were connected to the early cure. I see. So they are ancestors. Very ancient ones. I see. They, and also, did, they did not start the Neanderthal or Cro-Magnon man species, but yet when they visited, they did help to evolve them more quickly. Three plus six, so September. So in the fall, uh, what is the plan? How would they uh, uh, appear? What, what's, the, what's their, how should we expect them? It would be very exciting to learn about them. How would you look at them? No, I how, would we, how would we learn about them? What's the way to, of introduction? No, well, they are coming. They are coming to ask questions because their civilization has evolved beyond yours quite a bit. And they now know how to run a civilization without money being the major focus. So uh -huh. they want to teach that to humanity because uh -huh. they see that if anything is to destroy this planet, it will be the financial system. Oh, because excellent. Find people survive with your monetary values and it will be the destruction of the planet because people will want to fight for their prosperity. For without money, they cannot survive. And if they cannot have it, then they will choose for everyone else not to survive. I understand. Um, so it looks like the QR uh, uh, approach in the earth in an official way and that they will work through the government? They have already spoken to your governments. Uh-huh. Ineffectively, of course. Uh -huh. But they are not permitted to bring their information to your planet until first contact has come. Right. Uh-huh. So, um, uh, so what's the plan? Why would they, how would they approach them? If, if they cannot, if the government is not welcoming them, uh, what would be their approach to, to the humanity? Bitcoin was one of their first things that they put in someone's mind. Uh-huh. This is the kind of thing that will change thinking about how to use and control fiduciary uh -huh. planning. Uh -huh. So they are putting ideas into humans' heads that are different than what is being used now. Excellent. Um, so I, uh, I invite QR to speak next time. It would be nice to, to have more of their um, channeling to see uh, what they are their plans. They have you once before. However, uh -huh. you may not remember them. Uh, vaguely, yeah. Actually, you spoke to a human from the Cure planet. Oh, that, I see. There are humans on the Cure planets because they have come to the Cure areas during the 50s, 60s, and 70s. Excellent. Uh huh. Uh, do you have anything else you wanted to announce on the record? No. You did not even ask all the questions about Stonehenge. So it is oh, all right. Which questions did I ask? I actually don't know what to ask. Is it related to crop circles? Crop circles are something very different. However, these can create crop, the Stonehenge can create crop circles 
if it was so designed to do so, but it was not. Uh-huh. However, it sends out information and vibrations to the world consistently and constantly. Even in its dormant state, it has a great deal of energy that it can produce and send out. Okay, so what, what questions I should have asked about Stonehenge? I just am not uh, aware of those. Can you su- suggest what information, other information is important for us? How can you use it right now? Oh, how can you use it right now? You can use it for healing purposes. You uh-huh. can bring your weak and your sick to this area and healing will come much more quickly. They would oh, have wow. to stay there for a while, but they will feel the energy of healing. They so will feel camp- that uh-huh. the positivity there is of uh, doing good to their human systems. So I think the territory of Stonehenge itself is pretty much closed. You have to be outside. Is it is being outside just fine, right? Unless you have personal permission. There are those that will are able to go into the circle, but not many. There is a different uh-huh. energy within the circle than there is outside. Uh-huh. So it for is, hidden, for you hidden, can move the energy counterclockwise or clockwise within and without the circle. This has time travel properties. Uh-huh. And so these are things that perhaps you may want to know in the future. So suppose someone in America is sick and they wanted to get better. Is uh, traveling to Stonehenge and camping there is a good idea? Or is something closer? They draw the energy out of Stonehenge to them if they wish. If they can believe, if they can picture it, look at a picture of it and bring the energy from the center of it, to themselves, they can be healed. I see. It is not one, it is not discriminatory on who it will heal, but it has the understandings of several different species and bio, biological understandings. Uh huh. Is there anything else I should have asked about Stonehenge? Not at this time. All right. I will leave you now. Thank you. Uh, I think it was nice to meet you and nice to learn about your uh, regulations. Very well. Thank you.